battery. It is the heart behind every possible portable electronic device we are using. As heart pumps blood to our body to keep our activities going, batteries provide current to electronic devices around us. Batteries play important role in our everyday lives, right from providing initial power required in automobiles during our commute, usage in telecommunication to power remote base stations and satellites, to power our everyday portable devices. At present, can we imagine phones without portability? It's batteries which made their portability possible. Batteries are playing and in future will play important role in development of world around us. Keep watching the video to know interesting stories and facts about innovation in battery technology. Like and subscribe to Innovation Timeline channel to get one more interesting innovation story. So let's start the journey of battery. It all started with observation and curiosity of understanding natural lighting in sky and attraction phenomena of some particles observed after rubbing against material. The ancient Greeks already knew the pieces of amber could attract lightweight particles after being rubbed. The Greek word of amber is electron, hence the word electricity got derived in English. Until 17th century, it remained merely an interesting and mystifying phenomena. In 1663, Otto van Gurig invented a primitive form of frictional machine. He used a sulfur globe that could be rotated and rubbed by hand. As a result, it produced electric charge. Later, this frictional machine was improved. It helped in invention of Leyden jar and greatly helped in study of electricity. We were able to generate static charge by means of frictional machines. But to perform experiments, storage of this electric charge was of prime importance. Leyden jar were the first electric component to store high voltage electric charge. In 1745, it was invented by Ewald von Klist, a German cleric, and Peter van Muschenbroek, a Dutch scientist. The charge was generated and stored in Leyden jar using electrostatic generator. A typical Leyden jar design consists of a glass jar with a conducting tin foil coated on inner and outer surface. It had metal rod electrode dipped in water and some other dielectric. Leyden jar discovery was of fundamental importance in study of electrostatics. It is estimated that Leyden jar could be charged up to 20,000 to 30,000 volts. In 1748, Benjamin Franklin an American innovator developed a system involving 11 Leyden jars and then connected them together. He used the term electric battery for the first time. Franklin conducted many experiments around Leyden jar. Later, he briefly investigated electrotherapy. In 18th century, there was interest developed among the thinkers and innovators for research in electricity after invention of Leyden jars. Invention of Leyden jar was breakthrough invention, but continuous flow of current for longer time was not achieved yet. Lingui Galvani, an Italian physician and biologist, got interest in electrotherapy and medical electricity. Around 1780, Galvani was dissecting a frog attached to a brass hook and an iron scalpel. As he touched the frog's leg, the leg twitched. The physicist believed that this was due to the animal electricity wherein the spark observed came from the leg of frog. Afterwards, he conducted this experiment by generating electrostatic charge and presented to public that time. Alessandro Volta, an Italian physicist and chemist, when observed the experiment of Galvani, realized that the frog's leg only served as conductor of electricity. He understood that the frog legs were irrelevant for the source of electricity, which Galvani claimed. Volta believed that the phenomena was caused by the two dissimilar metals and a humid conductor. In 1791, Volta verified this concept through an experiment, but Galvani never accepted what Volta was claiming. Volta kept trying to build a device which can prove his disagreement with Galvani. Finally, in 1800, putting together layers of copper and zinc divided by the layers of cloth soaked in brine, Volta came up with the voltaic pile. It is believed that the voltaic pile was inspired by the structure of electric fish. 
the voltaic pile is the first true battery producing a stable and consistent current voltaic pile provided steadier currents compared to leyden jars some limitations of voltaic pile were it offered continuous current for maximum 1 hour due to electrolyte leaks there were short circuits despite limitations of voltaic pile invention of battery inspired innovators and made possible many invention and discoveries later from 1800 the path of innovation in electricity and electric battery got separated electricity was a result of mechanical moment and friction however in battery electric energy is a result of chemical reaction this is basic difference between electricity that power our houses and battery that power our portable devices the innovation timeline of electricity is too interesting and we will cover up in upcoming video one of the major drawback of voltaic pile was a hydrogen layer was forming on voltaic pile which increased resistance this decreased life of battery john frederick daniel an english professor of chemistry found a solution to hydrogen bubble problem in voltaic pile in 1836 he invented daniel cell he used the second electrolyte to consume the hydrogen produced by the first electrolyte Daniel cell consists of a copper pot filled with copper sulfate solution. In this solution, he immersed a porous earthenware container filled with sulfuric acid and a zinc electrode. The porous nature of earthenware allows ions to pass from earthenware pot to the copper container. This keeps away from mixing of two solutions and also solved the problem of hydrogen bubble. Daniel cell was major improvement to voltaic pile. It provided a longer and more reliable current than voltaic cell. It had operating voltage of roughly 1.1 volt and soon became an industry standard. Daniel cell soon became popular and was used extensively in newly developed telegraph networks. Daniel cell was used as the first working standard for definition of volt. The unit volt was named after Alessandro Volta. From 1837 to 1885 many innovators developed cell based on the idea of Daniel cell changes were made by many innovators in anode cathode electrolyte and the container many experiments were conducted to increase life of battery provide more voltage and make batteries compatible to telegraph networks batteries developed and invented till now drained permanently when all chemical reactions were spent there was no way to recharge them battery once used need to be disposed gaston planck a french physicist solved this problem and invented a battery which can be recharged when chemical reactions are spent in 1859 planck invented lead acid batteries he observed that chemical reaction can be reversed by passing reverse current through the battery thereby recharging it these were the first rechargeable batteries rechargeable battery invention is one of the most important event in journey of battery a lead acid battery consists of lead anode and lead dioxide cathode both immersed in sulfuric acid these both electrodes anode and cathode reacts with sulfuric acid lead anode releases electrons and lead dioxide cathode consumes it which produces current the interesting part of this battery was when chemical reactions were spent chemical reactions can be reversed by passing reverse current through the battery this recharges the battery again this possibility of rechargeable battery changed the perception of all innovators and businessmen across world compared to other batteries developed till now lead acid battery was very bulky but this battery produced remarkably large surge currents so its application became popular in automobiles to power light in train carriages and other application where weight of battery did not matter this is one of the first advertisement of lead acid battery by excide in 1918 the lead acid battery is still used in automobiles The basic principle has not changed since 1859. In 1970, sealed version of battery became popular. In today's world, we categorize cell as primary and secondary. 
सेल इज प्राइमरी इफ दे प्रोड्यूस करंट अंटिल ऑल केमिकल रिएक्टेंट्स आर एग्जॉस्टेड एंड सेल कैन नॉट बी रिचार्ज वोल्टाइक पाइल एंड ऑल वर्जन ऑफ डेनियल सेल आर प्राइमरी सेल सेकेंडरी सेल आर वन विच कैन बी रिचार्ज वेन ऑल केमिकल रिएक्टेंट्स आर एग्जॉस्टेड लेड एसिड बैटरीज व द फर्स्ट सेकेंडरी सेल Until now the batteries invented were developed with help of liquid electrolyte this made them bulky unsafe to handle due to acidic nature of electrolyte batteries were prone to short circuits due to leak in electrolyte physicist and chemist then started working towards developing batteries without liquid electrolyte in 1866 george leclanc invented battery that consist of zinc anode and manganese dioxide cathode wrapped in a porous material this cell provided voltage of 1.4 volts after 20 years of inventing leclanc cell in 1886 karl gessner a german physician and scientist came up with dry cell variant of leclanc cell in place of liquid electrolyte gessner mixed it with plaster of paris to make it paste the manganese dioxide cathode is dipped in paste and then sealed with zinc cell later gessner obtained patent for this dry cell unlike the wet cells we have seen till now dry cells are more solid did not require much maintenance it did not spill electrolyte hence it was safe to use and most importantly it can be used in any orientation this opened up for more flexible application of dry cell it gave rise to small portable electronic devices and made them practical This led to one of the first portable battery operated device the flashlight on the screen is one of the old commercial by Everready for flashlight By the beginning of 20th century we had seen 100 years of innovation and development of batteries from the day Volta invented first practical batteries businessmen and innovators all across world started understanding the true potential of battery to build the modern world batteries built till now were acidic in nature and had low energy density energy density in simple terms is amount of energy that can be stored or packed in a given space that means more energy density of material used to build the battery more energy can be packed in small space In 1899 Waldemar Jungner a Swedish engineer and innovator developed nickel cadmium and nickel iron batteries these were the first batteries which used alkaline electrolyte instead of acidic electrolyte after that for 50 years there was no much development in alkaline batteries as they were prone to leakage had short battery life and were expensive to produce The zinc carbon acidic dry cell were more popular and primary source of energy till 1960 to power portable devices. In 1955, Lewis Uri, a Canadian engineer who was working in chemical company called Union Carbide, was tasked to find a way to extend life of zinc carbon batteries. After some research, Lewis decided to build upon the work in alkaline batteries and he saw more potential in alkaline batteries. Finally Lewis was able to develop alkaline cell using manganese dioxide cathode zinc anode and alkaline electrolyte these batteries were similar to zinc carbon batteries except use of alkaline electrolyte and use of powdered zinc instead of zinc sheets the capacity provided by alkaline batteries was greater than zinc carbon batteries for same size of cell when alkaline dry cells were launched in market they became popular choice for use in small portable devices even today we use double a and triple a size alkaline cell in our electronic devices like clock remote controls toys etc from 1960 alkaline batteries were becoming popular in market but the disadvantage of alkaline batteries were they cannot be recharged in 1967 nimh cell was invented which overcame problem of alkaline batteries the nickel metal hydride battery was complex combination of metal alloys dipped in alkaline electrolyte nimh batteries soon replaced nickel cadmium batteries as they were more environmental friendly and had higher performance
In 1960s, 70s and 80s, alkaline and NaMH batteries were popular source of energy for portable devices. Different sizes of batteries were popular according to application. At the same time during 70s and 80s there were invention going on in electronic devices like mobile phones cameras laptop etc which required more power in smaller size in 20th century research areas for batteries included extending life increasing energy density improving safety reducing cost and increasing charging speed Physicist and chemist across world were trying with different material to build batteries. In 1917, Gilbert Lewis started exploring the electrochemical properties of lithium metal. Lithium metal is having lowest weight with much high energy density. This property made lithium best choice to be used in battery. From 1960, 3 volt lithium coin cell became available in market. These cell were primary cell so they cannot be recharged there was continued research going on to build rechargeable cell with lithium metal because it had properties suited for building most efficient batteries in 1980 john goodenough an american chemist discovered the lithium cobalt oxide cathode andra chid yasmi a moroccan research scientist discovered the graphite anode in 1985 a team led by akira yoshino at Asahi Chemical in Japan was set up to build the first prototype of rechargeable and more stable lithium batteries from 1997 onwards lithium ion battery became popular in 2019 john b good enough m stanley wittingham and akira yoshino were awarded the nobel prize in chemistry for their development of lithium ion batteries Considering development in last 4 decades it's impossible to imagine smartphones laptop apple samsung even youtube without invention of lithium ion batteries lithium ion battery invention is as important as invention of transistor in 20th century we have come a long way from very simple leiden jars to complex lithium ion batteries but The basics of battery have remained same. It consists of anode, cathode and an electrolyte. Electric cars are waiting for new innovation in battery which will make electric cars a mass product. Lithium ion battery inventor John B Goodenough who is above age of 95 years is still hoping to invent a revolutionary battery for future world. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Like subscribe and comment down if you like the video press bell icon so i can ring your phone with next innovation story